Zilge here with another DCS video, continuing the Focke-Wulf 190 campaign. Mission, I don't know what number, but it's a ship attack. I hope you're enjoying these videos. I enjoy making them, so I just kind of probably keep posting them. I don't know how many people are actually watching them, but I'm having fun. Maybe somebody else can learn something from them. I hope so. Mostly what not to do, I think. <laughs> um... <coughs> So yeah, ship attack. We are going to be using the Focke-Wulf 190D9 Dora and the massive SC-500 bomb. Pretty big. Um, this is probably my eighth time at this mission. I keep missing the target, um, either overshooting or overshooting the bomb drop. <laughs> I'm going to arm the bomb here this, very simple. Uh, the left side is level bombing, the right side is dive bombing. MV is con uh, delayed fuse, and OV is contact fuse, so it blow up instantly. We want MV, because I'm going to be using a low level, high speed approach. And I don't want to be blown up by my own bomb, so it'll give us time to egress, and then watch the explosion. Um, I am very much enjoying the Falk Wolf 190. It is just great. Uh, very responsive and fun to fly. Once you get a hang of taking off in it. That, that was the biggest challenge for me. And I still haven't quite nailed the landing. I mean, I can get it, but it doesn't look pretty. I don't damage anything, but I kind of bounce a little bit. So I want to get it polished. But um, one thing I do want to say is I've, I've kind of got... I don't want to say bored in DCS, because I never have been bored, but I was kind of wondering, gee, what else is there to do? So I, I was not flying the Falk Wolf on a BF-109, because I was like, I couldn't figure out how to take the damn things off, which is very difficult. A lot of torque. Very different than the Mustang I'm used to. Just, uh, I found it, you know, impossible. I kept dying, flipping over on my back and crashing. So... I put those aside for a while, and I was like, well, I want to try something different. Uh, I love the F5, but I can't seem to hit anything uh, with manual weapons. I can use the gun, I can use the missile, but using uh, bombs on ground targets is like impossible. I couldn't figure it out. So, I was like, you know what? Let's try something different. I'm going to try the L39. I own it, but I've never really flown it. I'm just going to try and mess around and see what I can do, what I can learn. And what I found is that by flying that L39 for a few hours, uh, like maybe five, like I got better at, I'm not kidding, everything else. I got better at flying uh, propeller planes, I got better at flying jets, I got much more fine, precise control over my flight path, which means my gunnery is much more accurate, uh, it means I can co uh, control my altitude and my speed much more accurately, which means uh, much better... Um, Manual bombing accuracy. It's very easy in DCS. I know I'm not talking about the Falk Wolf here, but I'll get to it. It's easy in DCS to hop into something like the Warthog or the F-15 and use guided weapons and stuff like that. You just kind of cover up your lack of fundamental to intermediate flying skills. Holding a level turn, you know, holding constant altitude and airspeed. Um, you know, I think you know, with, with me, I'm kind of maybe kind of projecting onto everyone else here, but there seems to be a tendency to kind of skip over that stuff because you want to start blowing things up as soon as possible. It's totally understandable. It's a digital combat simulator. But to be good at combat, really good at it, you have to also be really good at the fundamentals of flight, coordinated turns and stuff like that. Energy management especially. And that's what the L-39 will teach you really, really, really fast because it's slower than a lot of the other jets, which gives you time to recover from mistakes. But it also has the same traits of a jet that make a jet a challenge, like turbo lag. It also has kind of a weakish engine for a jet, which means that to get good at doing all of those things I mentioned, you have to manage your energy. Which is, again, key to dogfighting. Anyway, let's I'll talk about that more. Do your job. Contact here to Big one. 
see what that does. Ooh, I got it! It's gonna explode here in a second, too. It was a delayed fuse bomb. Well, I hope it friggin' sinks. Let's see, Chris, here. And while they engage the ships, I'm gonna try and wild weasel these triple A's here. I hope they attack the ship that I attacked because I wanted to sink instead of having them waste the bombs on a pristine target. I want to sink at least one of them to accomplish the mission objective. Where is this triple A gun? There it is. Got it. Peninsula, get it. I can find it. There it is. Splash two. Let's go get these other ones. At least distract them while my wingmen run in on the target. So, yeah, um. Like I said, that, you know, people, I've seen a lot of complaints in DCS, and they're like, oh, I don't want to fly the Hawk or the L-39 or the, the C-101 or any of that stuff because it's just a trainer and it's limited. Well, of course it's limited, but to me, that's the whole point of it. You master that, if you can... Where's this, this guy here? I don't see it. Just that and see what I get. Um, if you can become good at flying within those limitations... You're going to be much better at everything else, maximizing the potential of, like, your Warthog, your F-15, or even, believe it or not, your Falk Wolf 190. Getting a feel for what what, what, it, what it's doing, what its energy state is, where its nose is pointing, how it's handling on the ground, all that kind of stuff. And it's going to make you better at everything. Um, trainers train you to be, you know, there's a reason there that they exist. And it's easy to look at them and poo-poo them and say, oh, it's not a full combat aircraft. Of course, that's the whole... Let's see what he does. Looks like three did not get a, a good strike on target. Oh, maybe he did. That looked like an explosion on the... Oh, near the ship. I gotta wonder if my guns are effective against it. So, let's make a nice little cannon run here. Good work. You destroyed the cargo ships. Well, I destroyed a cargo ship. Singular. Excellent. So anyway, I know you probably came here to watch me attack something in the Falk Wolf 190, but if you own a trainer, uh, like the L-39 or the Hawk even, or um, the C-101, which shows a lot of promise as well, give them a shot. Uh, give them a few hours. Fly, you know, just fly the traffic pattern around the airport. If you don't know what that is or how to do that, just Google it, learn how to do it, and do that a bunch of times, maybe for an hour or so. And I'm, I'm not kidding, you're going to be better at dogfighting, manual bombing, all this other stuff. It's just fundamentals, and uh, it's always a good thing for you. So, um, that's the end of the mission, and that'll be the end of me rambling about how cool the trainers are. So, um, yeah, check them out. Uh, I'm partial to the L-39, it just, I like how it flies, but uh, the Hawk is improving greatly, and um, let's see what kind of hits we got. Hit the cargo ship with the bomb, and they nicked us, let's see. Boom, 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 he hit that. 
when I strafed it. So I guess the guns do have some effect on the cargo ships. Interesting. Good to know. All right. So thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next mission. Give the trainers a try. They're really... I'm telling you, they, they'll make you better at everything else. Just trust me. Trust me.